Next Friday, the New York Special Olympic Games get underway in Buffalo. And with the countdown to the big day, local law enforcement ran from the Adirondacks to Glens Falls this week. Over 30 runners participated in the annual torch run, which went from Scroon Lake and traveled down Route 9, ending at City Hall. A run that is extremely important for the success of the Special Olympics. Well, the run is um, extremely important to us. It's really the partnership that law enforcement has with Special Olympics New York that allows us to continue to provide um, training and competition for our athletes at absolutely no cost to them. And they have so much time and dedication that they um, put into these runs, and uh, it, it really means so much to Special Olympics. For over 15 years, the Glens Falls Police Department has participated in the annual torch run. Chief Will Valenza said it's great to be able to support the Special Olympics. You know, I always like to say that uh, the contact people have with a police officer usually is for a negative reason. Um, but we want to show that there's so much more to, to law enforcement. It's not just police officers here, too. It's corrections and, and people who are involved in law enforcement in many ways. And this is uh, one of the positive things we do. Officers are generally very involved in their community. And this is just one of the ways that we, uh, we can give back to our community and support such a great cause like Special Olympics. Runners of all ages participated in carrying the torch throughout Warren County. Queensbury High School freshman Tanner Lafar said this is an organization he plans on helping for many years. I hope they will at least. I tell a lot of my friends about it. One of them almost did it this year, but he couldn't make it. So that was a little upsetting, but it was fun overall, and I want them to join me too. It will be used at the opening ceremony of the New York Special Olympics in Buffalo on June 14th. For Look News, I'm Megan McDavid.